Here in this video we will arrange the Astartes according to their ranks and hierarchy. Within a chapter, although there might be differences between different chapters, the overall arrangement would be similar. The organization starts with a squad of 10 marines, of which there are many types like the scout squads, assault squads and battle squads. Then 10 of these squads make up a company, which are composed of 100 Astartes. Then there are the battle companies and the support ones. Then all of these companies constitute a chapter of a thousand space marines. Of course, there might be a slight bit of debate as to including the specialized units within a ranking system, but the general layout in the hierarchy would be as follows. If you disagree, then there is the comment section down below. So let's get to it. At 15, we have the lowest, the Aspirin. These are the young adolescent boys that are selected out of a population of a planet or a sector to become space marines. They are the lowest in rank as they have only begun being chosen to undergo rigorous somatic, genetic and mental conditioning as well as psychic testings and physical training. The aspirants are mostly chosen from feral worlds, feudal worlds as well as hive worlds since they breed the toughest specimens of humanity. Since the process would be beyond just hard and trying, only the best of the best would be considered. At 14, we have the Neophyte and the Acolytum. These are aspirants who have been thoroughly selected for training and conditioning to become an Astartes warrior. They rank above the aspirants as they are space marines in training, but haven't been subjected to the gene seed augmentation processes, which would wipe out a significant percentage of their recruits. After the aspirant trials, as it is known, the rank of a neophyte is given, which means one is worthy and competent enough of becoming an Astartes after the final phases. An Acolytum is also a neophyte, but for the Psycho Librarians, which focus more on psychic power trials. At 13, we have the Battle Brother, the Apothecary, the Tech Marine, the Lexicanum, and the Brother Chaplain. After the gene seed augmentation and other rigorous conditioning, a neophyte who succeeds is pronounced as an Astartes and he will battle alongside others as a battle brother. The apothecary is also of the same rank but he is a medical specialist. And the same goes to the tech marine who focuses on the tech aspects and concentrates his work on the armory. The lexicanum is a basic rank cycle librarian and is also of a similar rank. And the brother chaplain who is a warrior priest is also there. Both the standard battle brothers however are the most numerous. They would in a way be all privates in rank in the modern day military. Number 12. The Veteran Marines The Veteran Space Marines are usually members of a Space Marine Chapter's first company, also known as the Veteran Company. They are the Chapter's Battle Hardened Core and they have full access to its arsenal. Aside from a wide range of combat weapons, jump packs are frequently also utilized to enhance the speed of their assaults. They are also the ones that appear in Terminator suits as well as the ones that are too valuable to die and so are put into the life support killer mecha called the Dreadnought. The company veterans, in short, are just one step ahead of the rest. At number 11, we have the Standard Bearer. Also known as the Company Ancient or the Company Standard Bearers, these are Space Marines, veterans, who have demonstrated enough honor and fighting prowess to be awarded the opportunity to carry the company banner into battle until death. They are frequently members of a command squad and fight alongside a captain of the company. While they might be more experienced in battle, they still have to follow the orders of a higher rank such as a sergeant, a lieutenant and even higher veteran marines like the company champion or honor guards. Number 10. The Epistolary Their major position is as a chief communications officer both on and off the battlefield. They may utilize their powers to project their minds into the warp akin to that of an astropath but without having to suffer the excruciating process of soul binding that is otherwise unnecessary. Their powers are more typically deployed across a shorter distance, coordinating assaults and battle orders. They wield devastating powers bestriding the battlefields with fire and of the elements. While most librarians never rise above the rank of a courtier, a few would reach these heights of an epistolary. At number 9, we have the company champion. Despite not being a high-ranking officer like a captain or even a sergeant, the company champion is the most powerful warrior in a space marine company. They may be seen fighting as part of a captain's command squad in the fiercest of battles. The company champion's primary responsibility is to engage opposing warlords and champions in single combat so that their commanding officer may oversee the bigger fight without intervention. Although being technically outside the usual chain of command, he is still a war veteran who has served the longest and follows the organizational hierarchy. Number 8. A Sergeant 
A sergeant is a non-commissioned officer of the Astaris who commands a squad of 10 Space Marines. Sergeants are chosen from among the hardened veterans who have endured and been hardened for several solar decades, if not centuries. There are the assault sergeants that lead the assault squads, the scout sergeants, and even the terminator sergeants depending on the type of squad. There are a few higher ranking specialists like the reclusory arch chaplain which can hold a rank of at least nominally of the same status as a sergeant. Number 7. The Veteran Sergeant A veteran sergeant is a space marine who has fought in hundreds of battles and has proven himself worthy of leadership in battle on several occasions. A veteran sergeant's rank is equivalent to that of a space marine sergeant, although a bit higher since the veteran sergeants are frequently the ones who have served in many wars and have gained enough experience to be accorded the unusual title of serving in the first company as its leader and has access to tactical dreadnought armor. Number 6. The Honor Guard so these are the most experienced and battle-hardened veterans and they are the ones that all of the chapter members revere and respect the most. The honor guards also make up their own squad and they would be more effective and strategic than other standard squads made up of mostly battle brothers. Often their experience and knowledge of warfare is more than that of a captain itself of a chapter, but their task is mostly tactical in the battlefield so they are of a lower rank, even that of a lieutenant for some reason. Number 5. The Chapter Ancient just as the standard bearer of the company Ancient is a step up from a battle brother, so is the chapter Ancient a step higher than that of an honor guard, who would be one of the squad that is chosen to carry the banner of the chapter into battle and hold it upright until death. One battle brother from the honor guard may receive the honor of carrying the chapter's banner into combat and this is a religious duty that must be carried out with the greatest respect and solemnity as the banner is a symbol of hope and inspiration for all of humanity. Number 4. The Lieutenant Functioning as the right-hand man to the company's captain and as such hold a high authority level in the Codex Astartes hierarchy. When a company is divided into two halves for tactical and strategic reasons, the captain will lead the first one while the second one would be led by the lieutenant. Lieutenants are assigned extra tasks in sub-chapters, for example, in the Salamanders they serve as the bodyguards for their captains. Whilst in the Iron Hands, they are tasked with challenging the captain's plans to look for a human error. Number 3. The Captain They are nominally the chapter's second highest position commanding a company or its numerical equivalent. The Master of the Dark Angels, the Marshal of the Black Templars, the Wolf Lord of the Space Wolves and the Khan of the White Scars are all variations of a captain. Many captains are awarded the honorary title of master which means that between a captain and a chapter master, there is yet another rank. And also typically the senior most captain commands the first company and often serves as the second in command to the chapter master himself and as their immediate successor in the battlefield. Number 2. The Masters of the Apothecarian, of the Sanctity, the Library and the Forge these are the highest members of each different department within the Codex Astartes. The Master Apothecarion is the chapter's head on the medical matters as well as storing and taking care of the chapter's gene seeds. The Master of Sanctity minister to the brother's spiritual needs. The Master of the Forge is the leader of the tech marines and the support staff as well as the servitors. And lastly, the Chief Librarian tends to the chapter's history and lineage as well as maintaining and training psychers for combat. They all only answer to the chapter master himself and no one else, as they supersede all others in rank, or at the least are equal to a captain. Number 1. The Chapter Master The chapter master is a real descent of the Emperor of Mankind, inheriting the power and fortitude of his forefathers, the Primarchs. Becoming a chapter master of an Imperial Space Marines chapter is like being a superhuman avatar of war in the midst of models. He is, in the Primarchs' absence, the de facto leader of the entire Space Marines chapter. The most famous is no doubt Dante of the Blood Angels. Every other space marine from the masters, the captains and the chief librarian and others are all subordinate to him. He is also supposed to be the most powerful space marine in both combat and spirituality of his respective chapter. And of course, we have to include the Primarchs. The Primarchs are genetically engineered superhuman beings created by the Emperor of Mankind. Each one is a genetic template for one of the original Space Marine Legions. They are seen as both father figures and leaders of the Astartes, and these Astartes will follow them without question even to the point of sacrificing their own lives. The Primarchs' personality, beliefs and ideals will often shape the culture and tactics of their legions, as well as the way they interact with other legions. And in the 41st millennium, Primarchs like Gilliman and Lionel Johnson would be the conjunction point 
of the succeeding chapters coming out from the single legions. So those are the 15 ranks in the space marine hierarchy. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video, do hit the like button for support and subscribe but most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care boys.